My goodness, where is the time flying? It's only 26 days now left before the general election. A lot of people are worried about the e-polls and the paper ballots and whatnot. We're worried about campaign ads with our newsmaker today, Richard Vass, Professor of Rhetoric at Towson University, as always. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. All right, now you said there were some discrepancies in some of the ads uh, among the two gubernatorial candidates, Governor Well, Ehrlich, Yeah, there, there are a lot of them, and I'm going to give them to you uh, relative to the amount they seem to happen. Uh, You've got, first of all, you've got an Ehrlichian overreach here. He states in one of his ads, the FBI is investigating Martin O'Malley's leadership of the police department. And that's fine, except there's no evidence that the FBI is investigating Martin O'Malley's leadership of the police department. And with O'Malley, you've got several things. And these are also pointed out by several news organs. You've got a commercial by O'Malley that says he's created thousands of jobs. But, the, but according to the examiner, the US, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics says that since O'Malley took office in December of 1999, the city has actually lost about 37,000 jobs. So what does this all tell you about the, the so-called discrepancies? This is nothing new. I, I mean, uh, you know, you had that little girl pulling the daisies in the Goldwater yeah, the LBJ Goldwater, yeah. Yeah. and then the mushroom cloud saying that Barry Goldwater, if he's going to win the presidency in 64, it's going to wind up in nuclear war with the Soviet Union. Well, well you know, come on. Ads are all suspicious. They're all suspected by, by the viewing public. But the point is that when you have a very close election, you only need to change a percent or two to change the election. Mm -hmm. And we appear to have a pretty close gubernatorial election coming up. So the theory is if you can change minds, even with a small percentage, you can possibly win the election. So you Yes, it's true that ads don't change many minds, but the other point is you don't need to change many minds to win a close election. Do you feel as though a lot of people, th this stuff is sticking, a lot of people are buying the fact, oh my goodness, the FBI is investigating the Baltimore City Police. You know. I, think, I think the public doesn't pay much attention, but I think you have people who are still undecided at the final moments who are watching ads and making opinions. You know, they don't change ads when these discrepancies are found out. You know, when the, when the Maryland State teacher uh, who won that yeah. award? When yeah. she when she pronounced the uh, governor's name as she's, Ehrlich, she's siding with O'Malley, right? <laughs> right. She, Ehrlich, Ehrlich. You know, they still they still ran that ad. So that when <laughs> when these ads are unmasked, teacher of the year, yes. teacher of the year. That's yes. right. Okay. When these ads are unmasked, the interesting thing is is that nobody pulls them. Mm -hmm. because they understand that it doesn't matter that they're unmasked. It doesn't matter that they're false. Right, and we understand that the, the, the future teachers of the year will not be able to endorse a political candidate in the future. Well, We've learned from this particular year. Yeah, but they may change the rules, so we'll have future teachers of the year endorsing people. All right, Rick Vatz from Towson University. Professor Rhetoric, as always, we thank you very much for coming in. I appreciate I never having heard me. anyone have the guts to use the word Ehrlichian. <laughs> Ehrlichian. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. We'll see you soon.